You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about this play that happened during the Kansas City Chiefs Buffalo Bills playoff game. Man, uh, Bills fans must be suffering from PTSD today. They must be. And while I'm watching the game, and Stefan Diggs is, of course, not catching balls, including touchdowns from a perfect pass from Josh Allen, I'm watching this game unfold, and, of course, eventually the Chiefs pull it off. And during the game, there was a play that can only be described as one of the worst ideas and play calls I've ever seen in my entire life. Now, yesterday, and you may be like, where are you going with this? Well, I'm going with the fact that, that in my opinion, Sean McDermott should probably be fired today. He should probably be fired. I'm not going to lie. He called one of the worst plays in the history of playoff football, in the history of football. I don't know what he was thinking. He ran a fake punt last night when it was 27-24. He ran a fake punt. With Damar Disney movie Pfizer Hamlin. I kid you not. I was watching this and 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 they ran the fake punt. Here's here's the play. It fails miserably. Guys, I didn't even realize it was Damar Hamlin at first. And then and and then Nance, once he was back on the sideline with a jacket on. He said something, the fell punt, Hamlin, blah, and I was like, wait a minute. Sean McDermott ran a fake punt with DeMar Hamlin, who's had like, what, five snaps all year? And I'm like, man, now is not the time to fulfill your script, whatever that script is. Now, yesterday I made a video where I said, uh, Belichick was 50-50 on taking that job in Atlanta. And that were there other teams out there lurking around? Well, it's funny. Like five minutes after I put that video out, Florio drops this. Other potential suitors are lurking for Bill Belichick. Uh, other potential suitors are lurking. And uh, check this out. I suggested in that video that maybe there could be teams that are still in the playoffs that are watching Belichick. Multiple multiple teams are quietly considering a potential run at Belichick. At least one currently has a head coaching vacancy. At least one currently does not. And I said, well, that's funny. Uh, Months ago, there were rumblings around about Sean McDermott maybe not keeping his job. And Bill Belichick might having an eye to go somewhere like Buffalo because the team is very damn good. He could certainly coach up the defense. And Lord knows he's got an infatuation with these dual-threat quarterbacks like Cam Newton. I mean, and Josh Allen is sort of like Cam Newton on steroids, right? So I suggested that. And then I thought, you know, after the fact, as far it's still a long shot because they're in the divisional playoffs, and I thought the Buffalo Bills would have to get blown out, okay, blown out, in order to uh, consider firing Sean McDermott. And then I thought about this play this morning, and I was like, you ran a fake punt in such a crucial situation And time of the game, number one, I think there should be firing consideration for you even considering running this play and not pinning Kansas City way back and making them drive the the length of the field. And then you did it using DeMar DeMar damn Hamlin? Are you crazy? And guys, I got to tell you, the Bills got destroyed over this play. Sean McDermott got crushed. The organization got crushed. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, they're okay. They're just literally used a playoff game to to try to uh, create some miracle moment. Some miracle moment for DeMar Hamlin. Bill's kicker when he hears the fake punt call. Yeah, the Kurt Angle, deer in headlights look. 
the backlash on this this morning is starting to pick up steam, and it should. A -a make-a-wish carry to seal that comeback player of the year that DeMar Hamlin has no business winning. That is Joe Flacco or Baker Mayfield's award. A little stone cold beating the hell out of Vince McMahon laying in the bed, one of the most famous moments in wrestling history. So good, so good. Um, uh, Stone Cold's my guy, yeah. They just tried a fake punt off tackle and got smoked like millions of others have on Madden for years. Maybe the worst play ever created. The script is wild. Uh, uh, That will cost them the game. I think it certainly influenced it. Big, big, big. DeMar Hamlin over .5 rushing yards. Check. Yikes. How about this clip? (laughs) Couldn't you just stay dead? Woo. Bills fans right now. Yeah. Sean McDermott, if DeMar Hamlin is going to be named comeback player of the year, he should at least make a play this season, right? DeMar, fake punt. Get your ass on the field. It's like the at NFL called the play for the potential story. It's like Roger Goodell called down to Sean McDermott and Sean McDermott turned to the special teams coach and was like, Goodell screwing us. I mean, let's be real. If he would have gotten it, this would have been blown up. If if he would have gotten this and the Bills would have won the game, this becomes some kind of bullshit Bob Iger Disney movie. We know that. I mean, that's how this would go. They really thought they were in Disney World. Come on, man. No way you actually want to win the game running this play. I mean, one of the most atrocious play calls of the entire season. This was his make-a-wish wish, wish, and he got it. Good for him. Bad for Buffalo. Amen. Seriously, did Pfizer pay for this? For the comeback story? Question mark? Script writers are on strike. (laughs) Time to fire McDermott and bring in Vrabel. The backlash is kicking out on this. On this exact decision, it's about to become fierce. I kid you not. Bro, there's no way they really did that shit. Come on, Bills. DeMar is done after this season. Uh, Looks like he's been done during the season. Really trying to get him that Comeback Player of the Year award. Yeah, Comeback Player of the Year. He just didn't have enough heart. (laughs) Oh, my God. I mean, it's crazy as hell. This totally reminds me of the WWE. Look at them trying to force this Hamlin script in. It's all looking so fake. Fake. I hate this happening. We even had a pay-per-view event last week that was very successful by the NFL and Peacock standards. Yeah, remember how the WWE did with pay-per-views? Yeah. That's that's crazy. I, I mean, wow. One of the many questionable calls in a game of questionable calls, I thought the Bucks lions game was bad. The NFL was on the ropes, and now it is dead to me. You really can't stand the choreography, the betting lines anymore, the Black National Anthem. Nope. People are pissed over it. I don't blame them. It, it looked fake. I said, no way they're doing this. Uh, did they do this? I looked at my wife and said, did they do this? They ran a fake punt with Delmar Hamlin. And then I turned and looked at her again and said, Sean McDermott should be fired after this game for that bullshit right there. Fire his ass. That call tells you the Bills coaches think the Chiefs are the better team. I don't know what they were thinking. They couldn't have been thinking. I mean, this is this is nuts. I mean, nuts. It's crazy. Sean McDermott, I might be an idiot. No shit. Fourth and two, maybe not fourth and five, maybe not DeMar Hamlin. Snap it to Cook. Snap it to Diggs. Somebody that is a damn 
lightning strike out there. You put it in the hands of a guy that hasn't played. Just a few more yards and he would have been comeback player of the year. They wanted the crowd reaction that would have happened if he picked it up so bad. Laugh out loud. I I mean, yeah, Flacco heat for comeback player of the year was all-time high. Had to try to get the focus off of Joe. Sounds and looks and smells very scriptish because they believe the Hamlin hype. That call turned the game. I, I believe it. I believe it. I don't care if if Hardman did fumble the ball and they ended up getting it back. You still got time that's run off the clock, yada, yada, yada. You didn't have to put the team in that position. They thought that boy was the chosen. Uh, Yeah. Ray Finkel laces out. Yeah, anybody? <sighs> Belichick, look, somebody actually said it. Bill Belichick would have won that game. I agree. I agree. Worst call ever. Lucky they got the football back. Guys, it's starting to gain steam. And I contend that had they not gotten the ball back and it was just a run-in for a touchdown or whatever and they ended up losing by 10, I contend that play today would be exploding the sports landscape. And it's trying to anyway. (laughs) That play was full of heart-stopping excitement. (laughs) So good. Laugh my ass off. I mean, it's it's a horrible play calling at the end of the game by Bills. Well, at least he didn't have a heart attack this time. (laughs) Oh, God. Tell me what you think, black and white sports supporters. Wow. Is that a fireable offense? Question mark. I said it was before I even found out it was DeMar Hamlin who had not played all year. Basically, I said, I turned to my wife. I said, he should be fired over this in the morning. That's one of the worst play calls I've ever seen. It's in the top five worst play calls I've ever seen. Wow. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.